What is up, family? It's your boy D coming right back at you with another one. Right now, we're back in the lab, man, and I got this little amplifier I wanted to share with you guys. This guy I picked up at Parse Express. I'm going to be using this in an upcoming project that I have. And if you guys are wondering about the uh, model number for this, this is the TPS 3116D2. That's the TPS 3116D2. This is a Class D amplifier. This is also a 2.1 amplifier board with 250 watt outputs and one 100 watt output for sub. That's right, this little bitty guy right here actually is 2.1. This right here controls your stereo channel. That'll be your left and your right, which are these two guys right here. This right here controls your subwoofer output, which would be this little guy right here. And this right here is your master control. It controls the uh, overall volume. Uh, with that being said, these two potentiometers right here, you can actually adjust how much of the sub and how much of the stereo that you want to be played at any at any given time. I think this is a pretty good deal. I picked this up a couple uh, a couple days ago for believe it or not under fifteen bucks. This thing was only thirteen dollars. Believe it or not, it comes with a little bit of hardware, which I've already misplaced. <laughs> Forgive me for that, but you do get a knob for the uh, potentiometers. Uh, it comes with a washer and a screw that secures that on and it actually have two of these little guys that comes with it as well. Well actually three of them to, uh, to match the entire setup. So you get this for each knob and that's pretty much it. It doesn't come, it did not come with an adapter, it did not come with uh, any instructions manuals or anything and it came in this very nondescript white box right here that has nothing more than um, the uh, model number and the place of origin right there as you can see TPS 3116 D2 class D 2.1 amplifier and it tells you the uh, the outputs and of course made in China <laughs> if you don't get it from Parse Express it's pretty much made in China like everything else is these days all right, so moving on. What am I going to do with this little guy? Why did I pick this up? To be honest with you, I picked it up because of the specs and the cost. The specs per cost, I couldn't pass it up. And like I told you guys a few months ago, uh, because of one of you guys in the comment sections, uh, I was able to actually learn a little bit more about this this uh, this company, Parts Express. And to be honest with you, man, they do a very good job at pricing these items right here. It makes it very easy for the do-it-yourselfer. And no, Parts Express is not paying me to make this video. Parts Express don't even know I exist, okay, other than the orders that I made for them. Or made from them. I didn't make anything for them. I'm not getting sponsored by them. But just to give you guys another peek or a better peek or view at the rear end of this, this thing have these little screw type terminals at the back here in which you would, uh, these are your outputs, by the way. These are your outputs. This would be, uh, left or right. I can't tell. I don't remember which one that, that they are, but this will be your left, your stereo channels here, and this will be your subwoofer output right here. And as you guys can see, it does have uh, heat, it comes with the heat sink and two big ass caps on the sides right there. So I'm very, very um, anxious about getting this thing hooked up and see exactly what this $13 amplifier would sound like. And keep in mind, that this thing is promising 50 watt per stereo channel and 100 watt per uh, sub channel. Now, I don't have a really, I don't really have a way of uh, monitoring that or proving that. If the thing sounds good, if I think it sounds good for the price point, I'm just going to keep it, just to be honest with you. Um, that's pretty much what it all boils down to for me, exactly how this thing sounds. Uh, for more uh, I.O. ports, right here on the side, you actually have your auxiliary input. So you can use a uh, 3.5 millimeter cable, your standard headphone jack, to, uh, to, uh, to supply sound to this thing. And they actually got a port right here where you can actually uh, get like a little small connector right there and actually have it uh, straight wired from like another source. Maybe you have... Uh, I don't know, a car radio or some other source that have straight lines instead of a, an actual 
uh, auxiliary input like a 3.5 uh, cable maybe you want to use this right here so you have the option to do that as well and if you're wondering about the power this thing actually takes from 12 to 24 volts of uh, power input and I think that's pretty good I don't like the fact that it has this this uh, let me get at a better angle so you guys can see this power this power uh, port right here that's a two um, that's a 21 I mean, a 2.1 a millimeter DC power jack is what that takes right there. I don't know why they wouldn't go with something a little bit bigger. More standard um, uh, adapters that I see that's over 12 volts usually take a little, take a barrel that's bigger than this. But, hey, it is what it is. And I was fortunate enough to already have some of this stuff laying around the house. And, again, you also have the um, the option to use. Uh, something that's hardwired right here, so you don't really have to use this if you don't want to. You can actually splice a uh, an existing power supply that you may already have, or one that you probably uh, buy off of uh, offline that don't have you know something that this that is this small. So you can just splice the wires, and you can go at it on your own and just put your your negative and positive right here into this terminal right here, and that's what that is for. So I think that's pretty cool. You have the green LED indicator for power. And that's pretty much it for it. It doesn't have Bluetooth or anything like that. Like I said, this thing was only like 13 bucks. So I'm pretty, pretty happy about it thus far. And I can't wait to power this thing on and see if it works or not. So for all you guys are wondering, like, what exactly am I planning on doing with this? Uh, I've been wanting to put some uh, a better sound system in my living room for my television I know a few of you guys probably already heard me talk about that and in, in other videos and that's pretty much what this little guy is going to be helping me do is power my living room setup so yeah that's pretty much it for the uh, the TPS 3116 D2 very very excited about it uh, I got mixed reviews in the comments that people had left for it on the website. Some people were saying that this thing was awesome. And of course, you're going to have some people that call it crap. But for 13 bucks, what exactly are people expecting? You're not going to, you know, knock pictures off the wall with a $13 amplifier. But, you know, for me, not even have having been, you know, test the thing out at all yet. Let me shut my mouth. I don't want to put my foot in it. So I'm going to cut this one here short and just let you guys know that there are going to be some upcoming videos featuring this little guy right here. I got the test coming and I also got a, uh, some uh, some speakers that I'm going to be sharing with you guys in an upcoming video to kind of let you see what I'm what I went out and purchased to go along with this to mate or pair with this and that'll be coming up in the next video guys but for right now that is it this is the TPS 3116 D2 from Parts Express and don't forget to like subscribe if you like the video give it a thumb up don't forget to click the notification bell and share the video with someone who you feel may get something else out of it and until next time it's your boy d and i'm out